Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all well. Today's video is a spring summer jackets collection. Obviously here in the UK, it's not always that warm, although we're kind of in the middle of a heat wave at the moment, but you know, that isn't the norm in England. And I think even if you are in a hot climate, sometimes in the evening, it's nice to have jackets to throw on on those rainy days or in the evening. So um, here is my spring summer jackets collection. What I'm going to do is talk you through them all. They're not all new jackets, but they are just pieces that I think are kind of wardrobe essentials that you will get a lot of wear out of and that come back year after year because some of these pieces are older ones. Um, so I'm going to talk you through everything and show you what they look like on as well. But I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, my handle is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. If you follow me over on there, you'll have seen these jackets before. And also if you've been a subscriber on YouTube, you will also know that as well. So I'm going to start. This outfit, by the way, will be linked below. It's um, from Karen Millen, but I'll pop it in the description box too. So first things first, I'm going to start with my oversized leather biker jacket. And I think a lot of people perhaps associate leather jackets with autumn winter but for me I personally wear them way more in the summer I feel like they really toughen up a feminine summer outfit and I just think they're so great to pop on I usually wear mine over the shoulders like this but they're just so great to kind of throw on with everything and like I said it kind of toughens it up a little bit and makes it a little bit more edgy rather than feminine so this one I got from Zara last year but fortunately must have been a popular one because they brought it out again this year and I got this one in a small to medium I actually ordered both sizes there's a larger size as well and I decided to go to the small to medium in the end because it's kind of that nice um, balance between being a little bit oversized but not too oversized that it would maybe go out of fashion so it just kind of strikes that nice balance it just looks really great over summer midi skirts and also just with jeans and a t-shirt as well I just really like that look and I am a big leather jacket advocate so my next essential spring summer jacket is the denim jacket and I feel like I've been on the lookout for a good version of these and H&M are doing some really good ones this year. This is a new in piece from H&M and I've got this, what size is this? This is a small but it's an oversized style again. This is the lightest shade in the section that they do with the oversized ones. I think this was £35.99 so a really decent price for what feels like really nice denim. It's got a slightly frayed edge around the bottom and then silver hardware but I think silver and gold, You can, if you're a gold jewellery lover you can mix those together and very much like the leather jacket. If you don't want something quite as heavy as the leather jacket and if your outfit maybe isn't doesn't kind of warrant the leather I would go for the denim just again pop it over your shoulders and I think it just adds a little bit more edge to another feminine outfit again a nice feminine summer dress and then you just pop this over the top with some chunky sandals makes a really nice look so these two I'm going to talk about in conjunction with each other so these were both last year H&M has the camera just gone darker Hmm. I'm sorry if the lighting is changing, I don't know why that is, it seems pretty constant outside so apologies if the lights changed. But these two jackets are from H&M last year, they're a slightly oversized bit, I think they were both £24.99 each so so affordable and H&M I think are so good for um, really good price, reasonably priced jackets and blazers. So these two, this one's like a greeny one, this one's a lemony shade and they're both really lightweight, nice for popping over a t-shirt and with some jeans to kind of smarten that up but also with a dress as well and I just think these, because they're so lightweight, are a nice blazer option for spring summer and also with them being these nice kind of pastel -y shades, well definitely this being the pastel shade, it's a really nice kind of colour instead of just the neutrals nice to add a little bit of colour in every now and again so this jacket I got from pieces last year and it's a size medium I actually think they might do this jacket this year but I've definitely seen one around a bit like this it's kind of like a beigey shade really soft denim and again it's kind of an alternative to the 
denim denim jacket if you perhaps already got one of these this is nice addition to your wardrobe because it kind of creates the same feeling but with it being beige I just feel like it's slightly more smart and just looks really nice with an all neutral outfit and again it's just a really easy one to throw over the top of an outfit just to give you that extra layer of warmth without being too heavy. So I'm going to talk about this because this for me is an all year round blazer. This is a spring, summer, autumn, winter blazer and it's my under the stories one that I talk about in practically every video. Um, so it's uh, single breasted, under the stories. I don't think this exact one's around but I'll try and find, I think they do like a linen -y summer one like a thickish linen so I'll try and link that if it's around but I've said this many times under the stories do really good quality blazers and I think if you're going to invest in something as timeless as a black blazer go for quality because it really really is worth it and it shows in the outfit whereas the H&M ones were perhaps because they're a bit more affordable they're slightly more um, trendy you probably don't wear them as much whereas I think this something that you'd wear so much um, it kind of warrants spending a little bit more money on. So yeah, this is just the best all year round black blazer. Throw it over anything, it looks really nice in summer. I think it looks great with midi dresses. Just pop it over the shoulders for a more smart evening look. I would say I'd wear this more in the evening in summer, but it looks really good just with maybe like a top like this. Pop it over the shoulders, some kind of high rise jeans or nice trousers and some heels. Just looks really chic and effortless. This one is from Reese and it's a new collection they actually sent this one over um, it's a size it's a size 10 and it's kind of like a shacket utility style in a I guess you'd call this a slightly greeny beige um, but it's got the kind of tortoise buttons here and yes yeah, like utility style so a little bit more casual you can again just chuck it on with pretty much everything because it's such a neutral colour and it just gives that extra bit of warmth without being a big heavy coat and what I would do is just pop the collar up like that and yeah it's just a really easy nice jacket and I feel like a, a cross between a shirt and a jacket uh, comes back every year. So the next one is my beloved trench coat I feel like you'll have seen this a lot again like the blazer it's an absolute staple in my spring summer wardrobe it just works so well i think if you're looking for a trench coat go slightly more oversized i don't think those shorter fitted ones are i feel like they're a bit dated now something a bit more chunky a bit more um what's the word something a bit more architectural maybe with these two have opposite sleeves it's a bit chunkier there's a bit more going on I just feel like that's a lot more modern than the kind of short fitted mac style of trench coat so yeah absolutely love this i don't i don't think i said where it's from it's from sana new york again this was um a pr product sent from them but they do a really nice variety of trench coats if that's something you're looking for so i've got two more blazers left this one is a viscose blend from arquette and this is quite a new piece as well so hopefully it'll still be in stock this is just a really lovely lightweight summery material that because I think of the fabric of it, it doesn't look too smart and formal because I think some kind of cream or off-white blazers look really, really formal and you can't wear them that much. I think you feel a bit precious about it. But this, because of the fabric, just feels really easy to wear and you can wear it quite casually as well. I think this looks really nice with light denim or even off-white denim jeans. You could wear this with some shorts as well, just over the shoulders if you wanted to kind of smart look. But yeah, love this piece and I think I got this in the 36 too. And then finally, I actually have two camel blazers and I couldn't decide which one to show. But I thought I'd share this one because um, I've worn it over and over again and you'll have seen it a lot recently. It's my camel one from Zara. This is a size small. I don't think it's in stock anymore so I'll find another camel blazer to link. But it's I just love the sleeves on this. I think camel, again, is timeless. And this will last you right through to autumn too if you want to kind of invest in a camel family blazer I think do it now so you can really get your wear out of it from the end of spring right through to the end of autumn and yeah this just goes with so much and with like a lighter shade it works so nicely for 
um, spring summer and then you can pair that with your darker shades as we go on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my little collection and seeing why I've kind of chosen the pieces that I have and the items that you can wear it with and style it with. I'm sure you'll be seeing all of these over and over again styled in different ways as we go through, like I said. If you've not subscribed already, please don't forget to subscribe. That would mean so, so much to me. And give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more kind of collection videos, any more, I don't know, I, I don't know what I can think of, tops or stuff like that. If you want to see like my kind of core collection of things, just let me know if this is the kind of style you like. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next YouTube video. Bye.